I thought it would be just another like HC project, be a matter of days and you're done with it. But Eh oui, finalement, ça a été une toute autre histoire. Alors cet épisode de Relais Vertical est assez différent puisqu'il s'agit simplement d'une interview, pas d'image dans Burden of Dreams, parce que ça aurait été compliqué avec les droits, pas de musique, simplement Nalé qui nous raconte le premier neuf à bloc de l'histoire. On n'avait pas beaucoup de temps quand on s'est croisé, on n'avait pas spécialement prévu de faire quelque chose, surtout pas de parler que de ce bloc, ça avait déjà suffisamment été évoqué dans les médias à l'époque, mais en même temps je trouvais super intéressant ce qu'il me disait dessus, euh, il n'avait pas forcément parlé de ça dans son film, du coup j'ai eu envie de vous le partager. Donc voilà, interview toute simple, mais j'espère intéressante. Je pense que c'est très dans mon style, donc je suis avec ça, et de le trouver dans mon pays, c'est même plus que parce que j'ai traversé le monde pour the last 12 years now looking for something like this and to find it back where you're from in your home country, it's pretty incredible. If the project was in like the US, for example, like I can only stay there three months at a time because of visa issues. So pretty lucky that I found it in a country where I can actually invest all my time into it. For sure, it's not something I would have given up on. The more and more years and years you invest into it, I think it, at least for me, it becomes harder and harder to give up because you know you're close, you know. You, I've done it in like a couple sections and like it's all there, you know. It's not like something's missing, you know. It's something that I know I can piece together and you're getting closer and closer. So yeah, for sure, it, mentally going back every year, you know, not doing it the year before and going back, it, becomes harder and harder because it kind of makes you question if it makes any sense anymore. It's just like, well, I got really close last year but didn't do it and I got really close the last season and didn't do it and here I am again. Like you kind of have to start from not all over again but start from a much lower level and work up to it. So at some point you kind of start questioning yourself but to find something like this, it's, it's kind of a once in a lifetime chance. Starting to work on it, I was expecting it to be a little easier and then quickly started realizing that all the moves were just a little deceiving, they look a lot easier and then all the footholds are a little off and this is a little off and it's a little more slippery than you think and like it started adding and adding and adding until you realize it's really hard. But then you know you're just focused on one single thing for so long so you don't get that comparison with other boulders like how hard is it really. But like season after season, you know, spending the whole season and when it gets too warm and when the season ends, you know, you haven't done it. You're like questioning if you're even in good shape, you know, because you can't tell you, you're not even doing the moves. And then you fly somewhere else and do a bunch of really hard boulders really quick. And you're like, oh, wow, like, okay, like this thing is actually way harder than all these hard boulders I just climbed in another country. And then you go back to it again when the season starts and you can't even do the moves again. And you know, at the end of the season, again, like you didn't do it, you fly somewhere else and do all these heart boulders super quick. So it became pretty apparent that like, this thing is like way, way harder. It's pretty frightening, obviously, because it's, it's something like that maybe no one's done before. And it's, you kind of question whether it goes or not, but at the same time you feel like you're so close because you've done all these links, you've done it in say two sections, you've done all the moves. So it's kind of like this struggle in your mind where like your rational part of the mind says that like no one's done this before, like it's super hard and then your un unconscious mind is thinking that like you should keep going. It's not purely physical anymore, it's such, such a big mental factor at the end. To propose the 9A grade was definitely something I had many years to think over, you know. And I think where the real problem comes from, because in Europe at least, like 9A is like this mythical grade, you know, it's like the, the big number, it's like this holy grail of bouldering, you know, that you can't really propose it lightly. Whereas in America, you know, it's just V17, it's just another number. It doesn't really mean as much as like this 9A, like a new number. But, you know, slowly we've made our way there and here we are. But um, just comparison to the other V16s in the world, I see no reason why I wouldn't propose 9A. And if I didn't propose the 9A, I think that would have caused a lot more problems with the grading scale. 
because I certainly feel that this is definitely harder than the HC Plus is in the world. So I think it was in the end pretty clear choice in my mind. Dave Graham and Daniel Woods and Jimmy Webb, they've already tried it a little bit and I know they all want to come back for sure. I know Alex Magos is pretty psyched. Um, I'll try to get Adam Montra convinced. We'll try to get some strong climbers there. It's not far from Russia. Russia has a lot of strong climbers. So I'm sure it's on the list for many people. I know if someone opened another V17 in the world, I'd be on the plane pretty soon to go try it. So I'm sure it won't be a problem to get these guys to come over. Do you miss going there? <laughs> um, I got to spend a lot of time under this boulder and like as much as I liked it, there were many days where I would have rather been a lot of other places. So I can't say that I miss it, but it definitely became a big part of my life and more like a routine of just going there and again and again. But I can't say I really miss it. No, I think I had my time with that boulder and now it's time for other things. It's been a lot of time on the airplane lately and flying to different areas in the world and I'm really happy with this at the moment. But at the same time, I think it's always going to boil down to like finding the next project and getting focused on something because I truly love the process of just pushing yourself to like your absolute limit. That's how you really evolve as a climber to like truly push yourself to the breaking point where you feel like like no this is not possible but you still keep going and somehow make it work so i think for sure i'm gonna find my next project here in a little bit 